Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's W9, FFF Ham Radio Dude, and this is going to be a quick, simple, easy tutorial today. Most of you probably already know it, but just in case there's some people out there who don't, I wanted to provide the opportunity and the instructions on how to connect a hotspot such as the MMDBM or an All Star Sherry to your phone access point without even having a computer. But before we get started, if you could do me one favor, and as you'll see below, I am trying to reach a certain goal here, so please hit the subscribe button for me, especially if you like this content. Now to get started, there are many ways to connect these things to the internet when you're on the road. Today's only gonna be one scenario, and in the future I'll give you more, such as how to connect to that hotel Wi-Fi when it's asking you for a username and password to authenticate your hotspot. But today is just specifically how to use your phone hotspot to connect this thing to the internet, especially when you have no laptop. And really all you need to do is, you know that the MMDVM already has your home Wi-Fi credentials built in. And since we already have all the information in the hotspot, I don't really think there's a reason to touch it. Everything's working. Why mess with something that's working, right? It, it was really difficult, for example, with an MMDVM that doesn't have a full-size HDMI port or a full-size USB port. So we're just actually gonna set the MMDVM to the side and we're gonna grab our cell phone. And once we do so, what we're gonna to wanna to do is we're gonna to wanna to find the settings on our cell phone. Now, everybody's settings are gonna be different. If you have an iPhone versus an Android phone, and even in the Android world, if you have a Samsung versus a OnePlus. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're probably gonna to wanna to Google your phone and then hotspot mode. So for example, OnePlus 7T hotspot mode. And what I wanna do is I wanna go into the settings essentially, and you'll find your hotspot mode under settings usually. And under settings, I go to Wi-Fi and internet, and I go to mobile hotspot and tethering, and it's currently off. But if I go ahead and I set it to on, I still have a problem. My router name is Winona Router, or my hotspot name is Winona Router. And the problem with that is my home Wi-Fi is a different name. So what I wanna do is I wanna clone my home Wi-Fi name here. And then I'm just going to type in my home Wi-Fi name and click OK. And then I also need to go to hotspot password. And as you'll see, and that's not a legitimate password, but as you'll see, uh, I have a password there. So what I want to do is I want to type in my actual home Wi-Fi password here. Once I confirm, I actually typed in the home Wi-Fi password under the mobile hotspot password correctly, and I have the mobile hotspot name correct, case sensitive. I'm gonna go ahead now and it's on. So I'm gonna go here to mobile hotspot and I see two devices are connected. And one of them happens to be W9FFF, which is great because that's the name of my hotspot. Since my phone hotspot shows that the MMDVM or my ham radio hotspot is connected, all I wanna do is I'm gonna use my Yezu radio and I'm gonna try to connect to the wires X function once I'm on my Pi star frequency. And so I'm gonna hit wires X here. And that's a good sign. That means it's connected here to get me a room list. And from there, all I have to do is select a room I wanna to connect to and I'm good to go. I do wanna actually point out one more thing though. Generally when you're connecting your MMDVM or whatever amateur radio hotspot you have to your phone hotspot, you should have the ability to go to a host name for uh, a web interface, essentially. And here's the problem now. If I go to w9fff.local, which is the host name of my MMDVM, I'm getting a site cannot be reached. Well, here's where the problem lies, because if I'm on the road, I might need to know that IP address. And so I have a really cool app to show you guys, and it's called Net Analyzer. And what it is is, just as it says. So if you're on the net analyzer tool, there's a menu here and there's a land scan option. And when I click land scan and I click scan, it's gonna now show me a list of everything connected to the, the hotspot that I'm connected to. And I'll see here W9FFF, which is the host name and the IP address 192.168.43.12. So now I know the IP address of the MMDVM or whatever hotspot I'm using. And I could just go ahead and I can put it in a web browser on my phone to basically get my nice little Pi Star interface. Then I could check gateway activity and local activity. 
I could reconfigure whatever I needed to. So that's a really cool tool. Again, it's called Net Analyzer, and it is available for free on the uh, Android phones. And I'm pretty sure they probably have for iPhones as well. That's just a quick rundown on how you would actually connect your MMDVM or whatever other hotspot you have to your mobile phone's hotspot in order to have connection. And the cool thing about it is, is you're not changing any settings within the MMDVM or the All-Star Sherry device, which means when you get home, you don't have to worry about configuration again. It just makes things a lot easier. And additionally, that Net Analyzer tool is a very cool tool to have. I mean, it saved me from not being able to get into my web interface because I didn't know the IP address while I was traveling. So hopefully I helped somebody out. Uh, I do apologize that the screen for my cell phone was blurry when I was doing this video. It's just unfortunate that uh, the piece of camera equipment I was using today wasn't necessarily the greatest, but we got the job done. I think you understand uh, how you would want to basically clone your cell phone instead of reconfiguring the Wi-Fi on your hotspot. So with that, I'm W9 FFF Ham Radio Dude. Don't forget to check back later in the week for more videos. And if you did like the format of a quick video instead of my longer videos, let me know in the comments below. 73.